Hello everybody, my name is Amanda Zitto and Doodle on a Motorcycle just put out a video called What a Girl Carries in Her Riding Backpack and I felt inspired to share my everyday carry on my adventure bike with you. Since I'm more apt to be in the woods somewhere or someplace that doesn't have a signal, I tend to pack a little bit more than Doodle does, even for a simple day trip. So starting with things that I always carry on my body is my hydration backpack and my jacket. I've got sunscreen and I've got glove liners and earplugs. An electronic hand warmer so it's rechargeable. It produces less trash than normal hand warmers. Of course there's tea in this pocket. And then I always have nail clippers in one pocket because when I'm mounting stuff on the bike, I'm forever breaking nails. House keys. Wallet, P reg, Diva Cups, and the Go Girl, which is like a female urination device. I also normally have some kind of microfiber cloth in my pocket to clean my visor with, but evidently it has blown away. <laughs> my summer gloves, getting into the tank bag. This is my Wolfman Luggage Skyline Series tank bag. I love it because it has a lot more space. I do have the Black Hawk tank bag that does fit a little bit better on the Tiger. This just has more room for all of my camera equipment. Yeah. You will see there's a giant hole right here where there should be stuff. That's because this is where my camera normally sits, which is on the tripod right now. Um, there's also a little bit of a gap in this dry bag because this is where my Rode uh, microphone lives here in my tank bag. In this bag I also have a bunch of extra batteries and SD cards and a lens cloth. I always carry a flashlight or some kind of headlamp in my tank bag where it's easy to grab. I also have some extra noon tablets for electrolytes in here. Snacks, forever snacks. Some more earplugs in here. An extra screw for the GoPro mount. And then this dry bag actually has my drone and the controller in it. So the idea being that if it's in my tank bag, I'm more likely to use it. Rev power bank, Badger Sore Muscle Rub. I use this on my wrist and on my lower back and my shoulders. And whenever it starts to ache and it does help a little bit. Another snack, a tiny first aid kit. This one really just has uh, band-aids and some antiseptic wipe and that kind of stuff. But for easy access, this one stays in my tank bag and then I have a much larger one that we'll get to in my saddlebags in a minute. Micro USB cord, headphones, <laughs> another battery for the drone. This is the uh, special USB plug that I have to have for the Tiger because the port down here is a special size. My Garmin InReach SE. I got the SE instead of the Explorer because I didn't really need all of the navigation tools that the Explorer has. The SE is a lot cheaper and it does everything that I need it to, which is essentially just a satellite messenger. An air pressure gauge that I stole from Carl. Another bag of tea and a USB-C cord because my new phone takes USB-C and not micro USB. I keep a physical compass. This has saved my bank in a couple times. Um, just being able to figure out like what direction I'm heading. Definitely not like a proper map compass, but my friend Barbara gave this to me right before I went on the pilgrimage and it has gone with me on every single trip since. I've also got this tiny pocket here in the front where I keep chapstick. I have at least a dollar's worth of quarters in here just for toll bridges and that kind of stuff. I also, this is where I keep all of my lucky charms. <laughs> I have like three bags of them now. I know it's kind of getting excessive. Things that people have given me on my travels that are small enough to keep and take with me. Moving on to what I keep in my saddlebags. Uh, starting back here with this little uh, Wolfman bottle holder, I've got an MSR bottle that has a bunch of spare gas in it. Just in case I run out of gas, good for emergencies. Digging into um, my Wolfman luggage expedition dry saddlebags. I always carry both of my pair of gloves with me. My summer glove that you saw earlier and my winter gloves. These are actually the Climb snowmobile gloves, but they have worked so well and they keep my hands nice and dry when it's pouring. I have an extra water bottle. I normally put my noon tablets in an external water bottle so it doesn't gunk up 
my hydro pack. I also carry all of the extra layers for my jacket, as well as extra layers like the fleece that I'm wearing, a puffy, just in case. I always keep extra layers in my saddlebags, even if it's really warm, because you never know when the temperature is going to drop. Moving over to the other side, I like to keep things separated just to keep the weight distributed a little bit better. This side has the rain liner for the pants that I'm wearing. I've also got an extra microfiber cloth, and this is where I keep my big first aid kit. This is also the saddlebag that I keep my tool roll in. I always carry a basic tool roll with me. It doesn't matter if I'm going to the grocery store. It doesn't matter if I'm going to go in the woods. You'd be surprised what you could fix with a basic set of tools and some zip ties and electrical tape. <laughs> I also normally bring some kind of tripod like the one that I used to film today or a smaller one that's more compact and easier and will fit in my tank bay. I lent that one to a friend actually so I can't show it to you but <laughs> some kind of tripod. I normally always have one with me. These things pretty much always go with me, even if I'm just going 50 to 100 miles and back home. There's of course things that I add or subtract for longer trips or more strenuous ones. <laughs> for example, I have this big adjustable wrench that I take with me on longer trips so that I can adjust my chain if I need to. Um, if I'm gonna go run around the woods with Carl, I normally take some kind of shelter and extra tubes for my tires just in case something happens and I might have to spend the night in the woods. But this is a good general list of things that I pretty much take every single time I go out. Let me know down in the comments what your everyday carry is. If you like this video, please hit that like and subscribe button. If you like my content and would like to support this channel for as little as $1 a month, you can get early access to videos like these on my Patreon, link down in the description. If that is not up your alley, that is totally okay. You can get stickers, t-shirts, prints, all the good things with my motorcycle art on them over on my Redbubble shop. Links for that are also down in the description. If you haven't already, make sure that you go check out Doodle on a Motorcycle's video about her everyday carry and her riding backpack. And in the meantime, guys, I will see you later. Somebody commented on one of my last videos you should just carry the tools specifically for your bike and nothing extra. I tend to bring as much as I can just because I can't count the amount of times that I have stopped to help somebody else. And I like to pay forward all of the kindness that I have received on the road as much as I possibly can. There's obviously stuff that I can't help with that I don't know enough to help with, but you know, it's, it's worth it to me just to carry a little bit of extra weight and tools just, just so that I might be able to help somebody else on the road. I actually carry some of the grains that came out of the dump truck that Martin and I righted when I was staying with him in Lewistown on the pilgrimage, um, just to keep that memory really close to me. Um, Martin was such a really cool dude and I think about him often. So he goes in my good luck bag.